In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install and set up Panaconda Panamakua system. This is the second part of the series. And for this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can use the command line installer. And so the instructions for installing can be found on this page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. So on this page, just scroll down and then you will see the command line install instructions. So this is how it is. Now let's proceed. So with the command line, we need to first download the installer. And because it's a command line installer, I am going to do everything using the command line. So let's proceed. So let's first get the installer. Let's open this link here. So just right click and then let's move to another tab and get that installer. So let's wait for the page to load. Okay, so when the page has been loaded, you will see this here. Okay, this here is the link for the graphical installer, but we want the command line installer. So what we are going to do is to click this Apple button here. So click it and then you will be sent to the bottom of the page. So here, you get the file for the command line installer. So this is it, the second file here. That is what we are going to use. So I will just get a download link. I will just right click and then get the link. So I'll just copy the link. This is what I need. And then I'll go to my terminal or my command line. So I have it here. Okay, perfect. So I am on my terminal now. So the first thing I'll do is to cd to my home directory. It's important you do that. And then I'll proceed to download the installer. I am going to use curl to download. So I'll say curl and then I'll supply it with the link, the one I copied. I'll just paste it here. And then I'll say dash O and I'll indicate the name that I want for this file after it has been downloaded. So I'll just say anaconda-installer.sh. This is the new name. So that's it. So let's run this command. So let's wait for a download to complete. Okay. The file has been downloaded successfully. So let's check the file. Let's do an ls to check the file. So this is the file. I have mine here. This is it. Okay, so that is the first stage. Now before we run this installer, let's um, do some uh, preparations. Let's create a directory where uh, we will install the anaconda 2. I usually recommend that you have a separate directory where you install all your tools and software. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to create this directory called apps. I'll say make that apps. Let's do an ls to check the directory. So this is it. Okay, so I'll now proceed to run the anaconda installer from the instructions we have to use bash let's go back let's check the documentation here okay so for our documentation we have to use bash to run it so let's do that okay so you will say bash and we will run anaconda Okay, so we are calling the file name. So this is how we do it. So bash, and then you call the file name. So let's run this. Perfect. So you will have this message coming up. And so here, you will have to review the license and agreement. So you just type enter. So just type enter until the end. Okay, so once you keep on hitting the enter button you will come to this stage and so when we are here just type yes 
and then hits the enter button again. So now you have this prompt. So here, Anaconda is telling you that it's going to install to this particular path here. And so for me, because I want to change the paths, that is why I had to create the app directory. So I'm going to change it. So what I'm going to do is to say slash slash users slash and then I'll give my path here. So this is what I want. So what I want is the installer um, using this apps directory. So the Anaconda package will be installed here in the apps directory. So that is what I want. So uh, you can leave the default settings. It's up to you. So if you are confused, just leave it. Don't type anything here, but let's proceed. So hit the enter button. Perfect. So we have the prefix set. So the installer will start running. Okay, the installation has been done. The last thing we will do is to initialize Anaconda. So we are going to type yes. When we initialize it, the path um, to Conda will be set for us. So let's just type yes and then hit the enter button. Perfect. Now everything has been set. So let's open a new terminal. When the new terminal is opened, you will have this appearing, okay, this here. So this is uh, the base environment. And so by default, after you have installed Anaconda, this environment will be activated for you anytime you open the terminal. So that is why you have it there. Let's just do some tests. Let's just type Conda. Perfect. So we have this text being displayed. So this text tells you how to um, run Conda. And that's how it is basically. Let's proceed. Let's just display environments. To display the environment, we say Conda and um, list. Let's type this. We are still testing Anaconda. Okay, that has also been done. So we will have just one environment, which is the base environment, okay? Because this is a new installation. So it's only the base environment that will be available for us. You can create your own environment and install tools and software. So the environments are what you need if you want to install tools. Tools and softwares and packages will always have to be installed in the environment. So that is it. Uh, you can also deactivate the environment. If you have an Anaconda, it's likely you will have uh, multiple environments on the same PC, on the same system. And so uh, you may want to activate and deactivate them anytime you want. So with this environment, we can deactivate it. So to deactivate an environment, we say Conda deactivate. And this will deactivate the environment for you. So we have it there. So notice after deactivating it, this base environment here, the name is no longer on the prompt here. So we have deactivated it. Now, what you should note is that this behavior of the base environment being activated is persistent. It's going to be persistent. This is the default setup for Anaconda. So anytime you open a terminal, the base environment will be activated. Let's open a new terminal to see. Perfect. So we have a new terminal open. Notice the base environment has been activated again. 
even though in the previous uh, terminal we deactivated it it has still been activated here okay and this is the default setting you can change this behavior so let's look at how we can change this behavior so let's first deactivate we can say conda deactivate and then we are going to issue this command so we say conda config set auto activates underscore base we set it to false so this is how it is so we just hit the enter key so this will change the behavior so let's open a new terminal perfect so notice that the base environment has not been activated okay so this is how uh, it's done so that is it now with anaconda there is also a configuration file which is in your home directory so you can also check that and see how um, the conda setup has been made okay so let's just check it out it's a hidden file so we can just display it. so let's cd to our home directory first so let's say cd and let's say cats.conda rc okay so we have some configurations here notice um, the command we issued um, to deactivate the base environment so that one is here we also have um, channels here okay so channels are also here so at the moment there is only one channel that is the default channel and that is here channels act as uh, repositories okay so if you want to install softwares you need to look at the channel where the software can be found and conda will search and then download and then install that package for you so channels are also important so take note of that now we have just one channel here you can also add additional channels and then uh, whenever you want to install conda will look at the appropriate channels and then get the packages for you so that is how uh, we install and then set up conda using the command line installer now let's check another thing uh, we can also check the anaconda navigator so let's see how that is also um, done um, let's i'll search here and then search for navigator let's open it okay so we have the anaconda navigator also open the navigator is um, a graphical interface so here you can use it to um, create environment view the environments you can also use it to learn uh, more um, stuff about anaconda you can check the community section to um, see what's happening and there are a number of things you can do using the anaconda navigator but these are things we'll cover in later tutorials so um, take note of that so that is it for setting up anaconda let's get back to our terminal perfect so we are here so after installing and setting up anaconda you may want to install software and packages okay and these are things i have covered so if you want to learn how to use anaconda to install data science and bioinformatics packages then you can check this playlist here so uh, this playlist will, will give you more um, tips on how to and install packages so check it out so that be all for this tutorial uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next session goodbye